well, first of all, what the job is is different. Yeah. They are not going to get a permanent job. Okay? The job will be project-based. They must learn how to use the online tools as a new kind of hammer or screwdriver. And once they become comfortable with these tools, using these tools, they then can participate in the project-based economy. So the digital divide, the separation, is not between the, the haves who have a computer and someone who doesn't have a, a laptop. Okay? The, the divide is between those who feel comfortable using the tools as a, a computer as a tool and those who do not feel comfortable. They perceive the fact that when they hire workers, that that is a negative. They see a worker as a cost. They don't see the worker as the essence of the company. So now they are not hiring workers because of the system is in place. They have to pay the health, they have to pay the taxes. So now they would prefer just to hire a project and then lay the worker off again, you see? That is the way their perception is. Now what we're hoping to do is to educate, and when you say institution, you mean commercial, okay? We are hoping to educate the commercial institutions that they have to participate in the local community. And instead of spending their money on advertising agency, today we can do viral marketing to hire local people to get their message across, but now they're keeping the money in the community. So now the, the local company gets the benefit. They get their marketing message, but they also hire local workers, which is wonderful, and then they get the positive vibration from all that. First of all, it's great that they use email and Facebook, but this is a waste of time. These are good beginning, but you have to understand that going to Facebook and wasting your time, well, is wasting your time. So think of learning tools like a wiki, Google Docs, okay? Uh, how to edit video, how to uh, create collaboration, okay? And these are the skill sets that will lead to creating jobs. Now then you must identify a particular profession, and it's not like you have to only do one. So you can learn how to be a video editor, you can learn how to blog and express yourself, and maybe also you can do research. If I want to right now go and find some information, I have to stop and spend many hours to find the information. But perhaps I can go spend 20 euros, 50 euros, and pay someone to find the information for me. So these independent, small little projects are the future. The government is very inefficient, okay? So whether it is the pension plan or the constitution that requires to hire people or the government and keeping a factory open in Sicily, all these are inefficient usage of money, okay? So the government has to be more efficient because when the government is inefficient, it eventually costs the citizens and the taxpayers. So the government has to be smaller, okay? For instance, a politician or an elected official can only have one elected position, not multiple, okay? And uh, so then with that, the government gets more efficient, and then the workers, and it's good that there are so many medium and small sized companies, that's a good thing, okay? Because now we, you can use the internet and web marketing to differentiate yourself. So every company, every worker, everyone should feel comfortable with the web, and to get the benefits from the web to publicity, for communication, for collaboration, working together, expression. So if I want to buy stationery, okay? If I come to Trieste, I want to choose a company that understands James Joyce, that understands the beautiful history of Trieste. And that is the company I will go and purchase my product from. You see? And that's called differentiation. To separate, and, uh, if I had five choices, how do I choose which one? Well, the one who likes James Joyce, because I like James Joyce. You see? And they use their website and their blog to communicate that.